Exciting news for all our viewers. Starlink is finally coming to Ghana. In this video, we will dive into everything you need to know. What Starlink is, what kind of speed and services to expect, pricing details and how to set up your Starlink internet and how to purchase this game-changing technology. But we won't sugarcoat it, we will also discuss some of the potential drawbacks and the ongoing saga with the National Communication Authority NCA. Before we dive into this video, let's see what exactly Starlink is. Starlink is a satellite internet constellation project by SpaceX, the company founded by Elon Musk. It aims to revolutionize internet access by providing a high-speed connection to underserved and remote areas around the world, including Ghana. Unlike traditional internet delivered through cables or phone lines, Starlink used a network of thousands of small satellites in low Earth orbit. These satellites work together to beam internet signals down to Earth, providing a coverage to a wide area. This means that even if you live in a rural village or a hard-to-reach location where traditional internet options are limited or unavailable, you can still enjoy fast and reliable internet with Starlink. Now, let's talk about what Starlink can offer you in Ghana. With Starlink, you can expect a significant upgrade to your internet experience. Here's what you can look forward to. 1. Faster speeds Starlink boosts download speeds ranging from 25 megabytes per second to 220 megabytes per second. That is a significant improvement over traditional options in many parts of Ghana. This means faster than lows, smoother streaming and quicker uploads for all your online needs. Is this not amazing? Second, lower latency. Now, let's look at the meaning of latency. Latency refers to the time it takes for data to travel between your device and the internet. So Starlink's low latency is a game changer for online activities like video conferencing, online gaming and real-time applications. No more lagging and buffering. This is so amazing. Third, reliable connectivity. Say goodbye to frustrating internet dropout and connection issues. Starlink's robust satellite network provides a more reliable and consistent internet connection compared to our traditional options. Is this not powerful? Here's a quick summary of the key benefits of Starlink in Ghana. We highlighted on high-speed internet access, even in remote areas. We also talked about the lower latency for a smoother online experiences. Then we also highlighted on the reliable connection for uninterrupted work, steady, and entertainment. As we've talked about some key benefits Starlink might bring to Ghana, let's also dive a bit deeper into some additional details to consider with Starlink in Ghana. The first to consider is data caps. While Starlink boosts high speeds, there have been discussion about potential data caps in the future. It's important to stay informed about data usage limitations to avoid unexpected charges. Let's also consider weather. Heavy rain, snow, or extreme winds can temporarily affect Starlink signal quality. So be mindful of your local weather condition. Customer service. As Starlink is still expanding globally, customer service response time might also vary as well. So you have to be very patient and explore the online resources available while you wait for assistance. Now let's see some exciting possibilities Starlink might bring to Ghana. The first one is e-learning. Improved internet access can open doors for online education opportunities in remote areas. We can testify to that. And the second one is telemedicine. Reliable connectivity can facilitate remote medical consultation and improve access to healthcare services. And on entrepreneurship, Starlink can empower rural communities by enabling business ventures that rely on strong internet connections. Now, with the NCA saga, let's address it. There's been some controversy surrounding Starlink's entry into Ghana. The National Communication Authority, the NCA, has been working out some regulations for Starlink to ensure its compliance with Ghanaian laws. While this process caused some delays, recent news suggests an agreement is also being reached. But now let's talk about getting Starlink 
set up in Ghana. Here's what you need to do. Visit the official Starlink website, that is starlink.com. Enter your service address to check availability in your area. If Starlink is available, you will see a details about pricing and current wait times. The initial costs typically include a Starlink kit with a dish and router. There may also be a monthly subscription fee for the internet service. Once you confirm your order, Starlink will guide you through the easy step up process. I will leave the link so that you can check out the pricing and other infos not mentioned in this video. The arrival of Starlink in Ghana is a promising step towards a more connected future. We will be sure to keep you updated on further developments. Before we wrap up, I want to hear from you. Are you excited about Starlink coming to Ghana? Do you have any questions or thoughts about this game-changing technology? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can never miss out on our latest updates and videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Until then.